Hey guys, Ken here, Ken Small Engines. This video is about uh, cheap tools versus expensive tools. Uh, we all go to Harbor Freight, we buy Harbor Freight, and sometimes, you know, we get some good deals, sometimes we don't, but this is about infrared thermometers, or pyrometers as they're called. Um, I use them often when I do chainsaws and sometimes small engines, just to make sure engines have warmed up. I'll use the heat uh, heat uh, infrared thermometer just to make sure you know it's it's warm okay the one that I have is cheap it's Harbor Freight it's General Tool it was twenty dollars with a coupon fifteen dollars and I'm saying how good is this so I borrowed one from a friend that I know is calibrated I know it's expensive three four hundred bucks and I know it's good I also was at Henry Morowski's today and he had I saw earlier when I was there, a Milwaukee brand infrared thermometer. So I said, let me check a couple shots of different things and see what the temperature variations, if any, are between the cheap infrared thermometers and the expensive ones. So take a look, see what you think. Um, you know, it's just an honest uh, test of what the $15 one versus the $300 one does and how they compare. So take a look, enjoy, and we'll talk to you soon. Hey guys, Kenny here. Uh, we're going to do a thing today on infrared thermometers. And I know a lot of you guys go to Harbor Freight and buy the General Tools thermometer that's 20 bucks with a discount coupon, 15 bucks, and that's great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare a Fluke, which is about three to $400, to a Milwaukee. What's a Milwaukee, Henry? About 100 bucks? Yeah, uh, just under 100 Okay, so about 100 bucks for the Milwaukee. And then when I go home, I'll do the General just to see what it goes. But th this is one a friend of mine's got a company and... He does a lot of electronics and stuff, and they, they use them a lot to test for failures and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm just going to shine on a couple things. We're going to see what's going on. So let me take the uh, Fluke first. Uh, all right, we got the laser there. 65.8, shown on his uh, aluminum housing. 65.8. Let's try the Milwaukee. 64.6, 64 64.4. So about one, about one and a half degrees difference. Let me try it on a couple more things. Uh, let me try the floor. Uh, 63.1. Milwaukee. Ooh, 61. Wow, three, three degrees difference. Wow. Huh, interesting. What else? Uh, what else is a weird? Oh, uh, anything that's warm, Henry? Oh, how about the TV monitor? You think that's warm? Let me see if the TV... Let me see what the TV monitor looks like. No, nope. 78, 79 degrees, 79 with the fluke. Let's see what we got with the Milwaukee. 76, so oh, three degrees. So yeah, about three degrees, that's, that's interesting, about three degrees yeah. difference. All right, so that's Milwaukee versus fluke. It's showing about three degrees cooler with the Milwaukee. So then when I get home, I'll do the general tools gun and we'll see what that is. I mean, three degrees isn't a lot, uh, but I'm just saying, you know, you get something that's $400, something that's a hundred bucks, and I'm gonna show you something that's $15 and we'll see what the difference is, all right? All right, guys, we'll be back soon. Uh, actually, I'm going on the stream live now with Henry. We'll catch you in a little bit. All right, guys, Kenny's home from Henry's and I'm gonna test the Model 66 gun from Fluke, Fluke 66 infrared thermometer against the cheap General Tool Harbor Freight $20 with coupon $15 infrared thermometer. So I'm going to shine it on my bumper and see what I get. All right. So let's shine it on the bumper. All right. We get 66.7. All right, let's try it again. 66.7 to 67.1. All right, 66.7 to 67.1. See what the fluke tells us. 70.3. Let's try it again. 70.4. All right, well... 
I think if you look at the guns, this one and the Milwaukee were one to three degrees cooler than the Fluke. So there's three degrees difference. This one I know is a professional gun and I know it's calibrated. So I know it's dead on. So these here, while they'll give you readings, don't get me wrong, and it's probably consistent in what it does, it is slightly different from one to three degrees from a professional infrared gun. So they're good, don't get me wrong. If you check something two or three degrees either way when you're talking hundreds of degrees, is it gonna make that much of a difference? No, but if you're looking to pinpoint within decimal degrees or one degree, you may wanna invest in an expensive fluke meter. So just so you know, $15 at Harbor Freight was coming up with the same readings that that $100 Milwaukee gun was. So you know what, for $15, yeah, I think it's a good buy. You know, look on the side of this thing, it's got the chart. Look on the fluke, it's got the exact same chart. I mean, they do the same thing. Like I said, $15, two three hundred dollars and about a hundred for the milwaukee so you make the call but you know what for fifteen dollars a quick check i think this general's worth the money all right guys that's it for me i'll talk to you soon i know someone's gonna say oh you only checked one thing why don't you check something else okay i'll check something else all right here's the general let's see what we got 56.8 all right we'll try it one more time Fifty-six point six, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-six point eight. That looked like it was pretty consistent. Okay, now let's go with the fluke. Ooh, look at that! Fifty-six point two, three. Try it again. Wow! Look at that. The general. Almost identical to the fluke. Let's try something else. Let's try, oh, what should we try? Let's try this engine cover here. Here's the fluke. 53, 6, 53, 6. Let's try the general. I wish I had the Milwaukee here, but that's a Henry's house. Yeah, see about two degrees. Oh, yeah, about two degrees. Okay, so, I mean, sometimes you get lucky. It looks like, you know, like I said, for the money, two to three degrees difference. You may get once in a while, but anywhere from one to three degrees. You know what, guys, $15, $300, not bad. You know what I mean? I'll still stick with the cheap one for now. You know, that's it. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later.